Hi everybody at Mount Green College. I hope everyone is safe and well at home. Um, I had a phone call from school today and I was asked to come in to come and collect this box. Wonder if anybody knows what's inside. Let me give you a bit of a clue. are a year eight student or a year nine student or maybe even if you're in key stage four you probably know what's in the box every year the year seven students have a project during the summer term where they look at the life stages of a butterfly and this is the very beginning of the stages we're going to have a look at very small caterpillars and watch as they turn into butterflies let's have a look at what's in the box So I haven't opened the box yet. Let's see what's inside. We've got some plastic containers. They look like lids. Ooh, got a paintbrush. Wonder what that's for. Some scoops. I have some nectar. And this box must be the actual caterpillars. Come and have a look. And what else we have? Oh, the instructions. Oh, I think this is probably going to be the most important thing. I'm going to go and have a look at the instructions and I'll be back in a little while with another video. Hello again. I um, read through my instruction book and the very first thing we have to do for the very tiny, tiny caterpillars is make them a new home. Each caterpillar is going to have their own little jar with a lid and inside the jar we have to put some special caterpillar food. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to all of these little jars with the caterpillar food before transferring the caterpillars into each one. Okay, let's have a look at how this works. Everyone gets one scoop. Flatten it out with that. And the way you flatten it down is take another jar and flatten it down like that. And that's ready for a mini caterpillar. Let me do a few more. We have one more to go. I'm on my last one to fill up. So, last one to go. As I've been doing this, my, uh, my daughter, who's been helping me filming, had commented that it smells like baby food. And I guess it does. It's baby food for the baby caterpillars as they grow and change. Last one. Okay, I'll put this one with all the other ones. And we have, we have lots, I haven't counted them, but uh, we have lots. Next step for me is going to be adding a very small caterpillar into each one of the jars. We are now ready for step two. Step one was putting all the magic caterpillar food into the little vials. And step two is gonna be taking the small caterpillars and placing them into one container each. The instructions say to use a paintbrush to, go, to gently put a caterpillar onto the end of the paintbrush and then drop it into one of the vials on the side. and then put a lid on. 
And this baby caterpillar is good to grow. I'm going to repeat that step for all of the rest of the baby caterpillars and their containers. Let's see how I get on. All of the baby caterpillars are now in their own container. They have lots of food that they need to help them grow. We've ended up with 38 caterpillars. Hopefully, we'll have 38 beautiful butterflies in a few weeks' time. Over the next 10 days, the caterpillars are going to grow to about 10 times their current size and they're going to shed their exoskeleton up to 5 times. Thanks for watching. See you soon for part 2.